Hello human beings because I have nothing else to talk about in this video I'll just talk about um, my experience with the sewer from yesterday I mean not the sewer, I, I just stopped calling it a sewer it's illegal to go into sewers like it's blocked off for a reason and I, I just it's a storm drain, okay? I went into a storm drain but yeah because I usually film videos during my trips in the storm drain um, my talking um, covers up the creepy sounds so yeah um, I heard random like moaning sounds inside from the, but it was like really short moans so I don't know if that's just me me moaning or if it's like something else but it's probably not something to worry about because you know if there was an animal inside of there then the animal will probably be starving already because the animal's like me because it, there's no prey to eat inside the storm bin except for like, a few crickets I bet the crickets will also starve because, yeah it's just not, not a place for animals to live but yeah um, it's, it's just much better to like why is there a wasp? it's just much better to like talk during the sewer so I won't have to worry about anything so yeah I didn't last much long in there before I had to get out because I was just too it, it, it just it was not an, a comfortable feeling inside of me also I, I really think there's a torture a wasp again one day just look at it it looks so torturable right now like it's stingier it looks like it's made of nothing wasp that's stingier oh is there a bug I'm gonna yeah, I got the kill. You have to kill everything you see in order to get good. Yeah, apparently someone's cutting the tree based on what I am hearing right now. Let's hope the tree. Let's, let's just not think about the tree. No one cares. And let's think about nothing. Why is the periwinkle not moving? It needs to move. It smells like, like bacon death. And but, but by, by the way, bacon's the smell of death. So yeah, it's gonna die. But no one cares. I'm gonna see you in tomorrow's video. And bye. Okay, so apparently this video is not over yet because um, I was forced to pick leaves, and inside the leaves there were insects, and I decided to torture them because I'm really kind. Why is there one inside my periwinkle place? Get inside. Everyone deserves to be tortured, including you. Yeah, but these ones are really good at climbing. Also, there's like meat bugs. But I'm not torturing them because I'm nice. I'm only torturing the beetles. Get down. Okay, so what you do is you use the cap. And then you just wait until they all get into the cap. And then just pour water inside. I'm pretty sure that they, they, they can't fit into the cap, so yeah. You know what, the cap method didn't work out because it's got upside down. But so yeah, I guess I'll just have to just pour the water in. I'll use this water because it's the water that hasn't been cleaned out in a couple of months. Why is there like five wasps circling around me? But yeah, anyways. It's, they're all on the ceiling. Are you kidding me? But yeah, I, I think I should get a cap, like a funnel cap, so that I can just pour the water in. With this one. Okay. Okay, now time to start pouring. This is gonna be so entertaining. Please stop circling around me, wasps. Okay. Look at that. They're all on the top. Are you kidding me? Still draining out. Okay. Get them down. And now. Okay, they're now all officially inside the water. There's probably one that's not though. But that's because it's under the cap. 
That's exactly what I wanted for them to go under the cap. I might have to put another cap inside so more can go under. Because once you go under, there's no way of going back on top. And yeah, so you'll just be stuck in the water, forced to suffer until you die. I'm pretty sure these beetles take a long time to die. No, that they don't actually. Well, one of them has been ex exhausted to death already. So yeah, let's, let's reposition the cap so it'll be right on top of all of them. We've got one of them escaped. Okay, let's reposition the cap. Good, they, they've all started to cling on to each other. And yeah, and now I need a rock. I need a rock, but there's no rocks. Are you kidding me? Over here. Yeah, and then you have to go like this. And there you go. Now we can have the torture cam. Yes, it's the torture cam. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beauty at its finest. Oh my god. Look at them. They're all like running. I don't know why they're running. There's no hurry. You're all gonna die at the end. Also, meanwhile, the periangle is actually moving for the first time. Shall I add the meat bug to all this fun? Or shall I be nice and give it uh, a chance to survive? No, it's all gonna die at the end. So yeah, let's put it inside. It's probably dead already, to be honest. It just sunk to the very bottom. <sighs> it's not moving at all. It's probably dead already. But yeah, back to the torture camp. They finally slowed down at moving. But they're still moving a lot, which means that they're still alive, which is bad. Which is actually, no, it's actually good. But only two are alive now. And they're, no, they're actually all alive, but they're just not moving. Wow. You know, I could just stay here all day and watch these guys suffer. But like, it's kind of boring to watch them. Like, I know it's entertaining, but at the same time, it gets kind of boring eventually. So yeah, I'm just gonna let them sit until tomorrow and I will update you. So yeah, actually, bye now.